Alright, so this is video number two. Uh, thank you for clicking to look at this video. Um, first off, let me start to put a little bit of housekeeping. So, yesterday when I did the first video, I realized that I did not put the link in the description or the links in the description of the video for some of the things that I was referring to. Like the uh, the business I was talking about and I'm launching, I have the landing page of Parkade, um, the podcast link as well. I told you I have the season one completed and actually doing season two right now. The link in the description is there. And also the inspiration for the challenge from Veron Graham. Veron is writing. I also left a link in the description for his his videos as well. He also did his video uh, last night and most likely he'll be dropping another one today. Um, I also realized that individuals sent me comments either via WhatsApp or Instagram because I didn't realize that comments are disabled if when you're uploading a video you say it's safe for kids. I thought okay the video is you know it's a kind of vlog, it's inspirational, it's like a personal thing. I'm a cursing or anything like that, so yeah it should be fine for kids. But I didn't realize that once you do that, you disable the comments. So now that I've removed that. I am now able to comment and, oh no, and I am. You are able to comment and I'm able to respond to that. So you can go ahead and do that. You know, and, and then lastly, of course, I think more I'll do the vlog is the more I will uh, get better at it. I realized that the first video took eight minutes and I couldn't understand why it took eight minutes to say who I am. Anyway, so we get it all to the week. Uh, yeah, so before I get into today's video, I, I realized that in yesterday's video, I didn't talk about like expectations what are my expectations uh, coming out of this blog like why am I doing what I'm doing and I think the first thing that came to mind was I really want to get back into uh, good habits I think that or uh, when I, I in the past when you 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 focus or you just you know you really engrossed into doing a lot of positive things it, it really helps I think over a while I've kind of lost my way um, get maybe absent, absent minded and distracted at times. So I think when I see opportunities like this, when the videos can inspire me, I think it, it works for me. So that's one of the reasons why I decided to take up this challenge and do it. Uh, also to learn something new, I realized that doing the, the, the blogs or the videos um, requires me to learn how to use the whatever software, editing and coding, uploading and doing a lot of these things that I'm not really familiar with so it's good to learn a new skill uh, another thing out of it is you know to really to stop wasting time uh, I know for me or for most of us you know time is the only thing that we can't get back so I really in, in actually in even uploading the first video I looked at um, the time that I use constructively and I knew in my mind I was like okay you know what McKay, see if I was not uploading this video I would have wasted time doing something else that really wasn't meaningful. So, you know, I, a good way to cut that out is to say, okay, yeah, you want to stop wasting time, but stop wasting time and doing what? You have, really have to go ahead and find something else that, you know, you could put some type of passion, energy toward, and then, and then learn something from it or be able to contribute uh, to either to others or to yourself. So that's one of the other reasons I'm doing it. There may be an opportunity there as well to expand on maybe my personal brand. Like I was saying before, you know, a lot of individuals might have heard my voice on the podcast, if you put face of the name. Or there's this theory or school of thought that talks about of individuals who are getting into business, that their personal brand is as important as in getting to convert individuals who may then have confidence in your actual business. Um... The, the likelihood of you um, getting a type of positive vibe for the actual person sometimes then leads to opportunities for that person to, do, to now um, patronize either your business or your product or your services or whatever you decide to go ahead and do. So maybe there's an opportunity there. If it comes up, fine. If it doesn't come up, fine. Yeah. So like I said, the topic for today is crossroads. And what I really want to talk about was that sometimes, you know, Simple things or sometimes people will have an impact on your life and you really wouldn't know or you really don't appreciate it at that point in time, but then you see it there. And sometimes either, in, either it's in your life or in the lives of individuals around you. 
So early last month, I lost um, an aunt of mine, my mom's, one of my mom's big sisters, her name uh, was Norma Gomez. I'll put a picture somewhere here on the screen so you can see uh, what she looked like. And uh, she passed away, I believe, on the 5th of July. And we had, you know, the, the funeral the family came together, we, we mourned, we celebrated. And in that process, I mean, I remember her and I had, I could always see her in my mind, you know, either smiling or dancing, always in a nice and positive mood. But what I was able to do when we, uh, we went to her, her funeral service, I was just able to talk to um, some of, you know, her, her grandchildren, my second cousins, and like other family members who would have been positively impacted by, by her life and to hear them talk about her and how she continued to support and inspire them to continue doing uh, what they are doing. Uh, specifically one, one cousin in particular, Keon Boom Champion. I'm sure I'll do a vlog on him sometime soon. But we shared a, a really good story about, about her, about Norma and how she helped to inspire him. And him telling me that story actually inspired me. You know, so I just wanted to to, to kind of share sometimes, okay, what's kind of going through my mind and, and how I really look at things. And I believe that, you know, throughout life, we always have these, um, sometimes these either random things or people actually placed in our lives that are there to really help us along the way. And I think that we need to, um, one, appreciate them and two, recognize them. So, I mean, that's it for today. I know I really wanted to keep it short. Um, tell me if you know if you think the videos are too long, too short. If there's anything, type of questions you may want to have, um, or want want me to to answer going forward. But so far, so good. I'm actually I'm liking the process, and um, yeah, let's go. Uh, let's see how we can do this month out. So that is it for me. Uh, have a great Sunday, guys. Keep safe. Make sure you wash your hands. You know, we still have a issue with COVID going around. Uh, be safe, social distance, wear a mask, etc. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Yeah, so basically that story with Keon slash Boom Champion. I know, like I said, I'll, we'll talk definitely sometimes so I could get him an opportunity to talk more about his um, story that he gave me with, uh, with Auntie Knees, Norma. But basically what he was talking about, he was giving me the story that you know, story, short version, was that he was working, oh, he's a world-class barber, by the way, I will be leaving a link in the description for his Boom Champions uh, barber studio, and he was saying he was working really, really hard, uh, starting up, launching his business and everything like that, and one day he went home by her, and he said, you know, he said, Granny, I'm really tired, Granny, I'm tired, I'm tired, and he said, um, she looked at him and she responded, and she said, um, it's like, what well, to you? She said, you know, you know, I'm praying for you. And he was like, man, he heard that. And he said it was like, I know, a battery in his back to pump him up and for him to go and push. And if anybody knows Boom, you'd know how, um, how hardworking, how focused he is with respect to all that he does, continues to do. And he, like I said, he's an inspiration to me. And in talking to him and hearing that story, I was like, okay, I could understand, you know, a little bit more about him and at the same time you know the connection from my aunt slash his grandmother with respect to inspiring him you know so simpler things crossroads and the impact sometimes that people really have on your life so like i said i'll definitely get him to share more on that sometime in the future but yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys oh yeah <laughs> so one last thing um of course you could see chelsea fan here bluesy color football is a game I saw the highlights yesterday from that match versus Arsenal, the FA Cup. And yes, while I agree, uh, Chelsea played poor. Our defence has kind of been in shambles for the entire season. Aspel Equator with that, you know, um, getting injured, coming off. The officiating by uh, Anthony Taylor was poor. Poor. I don't care what you say. I don't care who you are. It had an impact on the game. And, you know, still coursing off of that. So yeah, I just have to say that. Now I'm gone. Bye.